On my last video about doing a physics degree, I got a lot of questions about what I did and what I'm doing now, so I'm going to talk about that today. The last three years I spent in Christchurch studying my undergraduate degree. I did a Bachelor of Science majoring in Physics and Mathematics. I found it overall to be a really challenging three years, but also pretty rewarding. The things that challenged me were doing subjects that I wasn't necessarily that comfortable with. So in terms of math, I sort of liked that at high school, but never been the best at it. And when I went to uni, I didn't really intend to major in maths. It's just something that sort of happened in the sense that in the first year math courses I did, I got good marks and I enjoyed doing them. So I just kept doing more math courses. And that actually led to having enough to count towards the major. My focus was always, though, on the physics. The sort of topics that inspired me going into the degree were those really interesting parts of physics, like quantum mechanics and um, also aspects of astrophysics. And I think I was inspired by those mostly because those are the topics that you hear about in popular science books or on TV and in documentaries. Um, whether it's that those subjects seem to have the best PR campaigns or if they are inherently the most interesting, um, I'm not sure, but they're definitely what inspired me going in. Studying in first year, I found to be the easiest because I kind of stayed in the same routine I'd had in high school. So I was living in a hall and a lot of people were in my classes with me and I'd sort of been motivated by them to study um, and also the classes were really big. I found that when the classes became smaller in the further years and I had sort of less friends living around me that were studying them, I had to be a lot more self-motivated. Also those first year courses, they had like sort of the pillar courses for physics and math um, and the coursework kind of resembled that from high school so it wasn't that much new content to take on and if anything the ideas were the same it was like mechanics or electromag um, a little bit of modern physics just like I'd done in high school but just more in depth one of the differences going to uni from high school that was maybe a challenging thing to come to terms with was sort of that level of competition that I personally felt. Um, coming into it, I'd been at a small high school and had always sort of been the top of my class just because not many people were studying science or very serious about it. Then going into uni, there were sort of a lot of people that were really focused, a lot that weren't, but um, it was totally a, a different environment used to being the top of your class and then having to compete with a bunch of people who are also used to that. I definitely had a lot of stressful moments during the degree. Um, I am the kind of person that does things at the last minute, so for every test, but the whole way through, um, I would basically cram beforehand and in hindsight I know that's not a good thing to do and I there's a lot of things I look back on and I wish I remembered them more and that I'd really taken the time to learn them in depth but I just didn't and I, I just couldn't find the time to do that I just had to sort of um, memorize chunks of material that I knew would be relevant for the exam and then use that I don't think though doing that was a total waste though because um, it enabled me to get through to get good grades to keep going and I was exposed to that material to a level of understanding that I could go and read about it again if I wanted to explore it more in depth. Also definitely the thing that helped me the most studying was having good friends that are um, studying the same thing as you and that you can actually uh, study in groups with and bounce ideas off each other. All the courses I hated the most were probably because I didn't have many friends in those classes and I always felt like I was battling the subject matter alone 
when you don't have that sense of being alone, you, you feel like you're part of a group of people trying to figure things out together and that you can explain things to each other. And that's where I always learn the most. So I definitely did at times consider if physics was the right thing for me all the way through up, up until I graduated, I would think, oh, should I have done something else? Is, is this the right fit for me? Because, like I said, it, it was a very challenging degree. Um, the things I probably thought about changing into uh, included computer science and psychology or biology. So still in that sciencey area, I always knew so that was for me. I, I love the, the scientific thinking. Um, so I had friends that went into computer science also interested in physics and it's it's an area where there are seemingly a lot more job opportunities and coming out of a physics degree I feel sort of less prepared to go straight into industry work um, the way that you kind of get that feeling coming out with coding skills I definitely like I did computer science courses along the way in fact the, the coding courses I did in first and second year um, about data structures and algorithms. They, I, I learned so much in those courses and I, I really enjoyed doing them. The people were really great. That's why I was sort of tempted to go further down that road. But then I, I look back at why I went into physics about the questions that I wanted to solve and, and the field I wanted to be involved in. And it didn't really match with going down the computer science road. And then with the biology or the psychology, those are sort of other sciences that kind of appeal to more of a, almost the creative side of me. Um, there, are, there are fields that have a lot more women studying them than physics or maths does. Um, there's the idea, I guess, that I thought I, I'd be better at writing essays in psychology memorizing words for biology and, and um, processes than I would be at solving hard mathematical equations and I, I think it was maybe a lack of confidence there that made me want to switch but again I thought back to why I really wanted to do physics and, and the mysteries and things that draw me to it and I, I'm glad that I have stuck with it because as I've gone along I've, I've always tried to stay true to that reason of why I did it in the first place and I think um, that's led me to where I am now and I'm enjoying um, what I'm doing now which is physics research um, and I think I'm in the right place. So unlike the American system uh, where I know you have to sort of take courses outside of your major, your area, um, I wasn't required to take any courses that weren't physics or maths and with the exception of one psychology course, all of my courses were physics, maths, um, and some computer science, but that was sort of related as a requirement for the physics because um, in physics you do, you do code quite a bit, not in the same way as computer scientists. We're not um, building sort of websites or things that people use, but we're coding uh, simulations for our experiments, ways to plot and understand experimental data. There were some courses that I did which were technically math courses, although they were kind of outside the square. So I did a history of mathematics course, um, which was really interesting. It spoke about um, not only the history of, of how different cultures used math in different ways, um, but it spoke about how math is a communication tool, how math has been used different cultures and their poetry and communication and also we looked at paradoxes um, sort of classic ideas at the foundations of math um, that make you sort of question everything. There is definitely a lot of math in physics and that can be scary to a lot of people. Like I said I didn't really anticipate doing a lot of maths more than what was at least necessary but I ended up really enjoying the way that university maths was taught um, and really becoming more involved with maths than I ever had been before. Um, 
I, I still am almost limited by my own confidence in maths. Uh, it's, I'm almost kind of embarrassed that I have a degree in maths now, um, but I still struggle with it, um, and, and definitely more than other people in my cohort did. But it doesn't have to be something that holds you back. If you can find an underlying interest in the ideas that you are studying, then you can sort of push through um, and pick up each of the necessary math skills for each paper that you're doing. Um, it takes a long time to be able to tie those together, and I'm still working on that, but I don't think if you struggle with maths that you should let it hold you back. After my three-year bachelor degree, I could have um, walked away and tried to get a job and, and not study anymore. I definitely considered that. I, I was feeling a bit um, low when I sort of finished my last exams. Um, I was feeling low in my self-confidence and also my motivation to, to keep going that I was something that I found hard. Um, however, I was fortunate enough to come to Australia for a summer scholarship program. So I was doing research um, last summer and I was paired with a supervisor who I really sort of connected with and I really enjoyed the research project enough to sign up to come back for my honours year, which is basically a research year. You're not, um, it's, it's separate from your undergraduate, but it's less than a PhD. It's kind of a pathway in between. And I'm currently doing research. I'm doing it in an area that it's an intersection between physics and biology. I'm looking at how pathogens affect plant cells. And I'm doing this by mimicking pathogens using nanotechnology. I'm basically um, applying very small pressures to plant cells and then measuring their response on the nano scale. I'll be doing this until halfway through next year. And after that, I could go on um, to do a PhD. At this point, though, I, I don't know what I'll do. Thinking back to why I chose physics in the first place is that thing that keeps me motivated to, to stay in it. And when I doubt myself or doubt the subject, um, that's what brings me back to it. So why I chose physics is that it excites me in a way that other subjects don't. So it was really through um, basically TV documentaries and online video that I fostered an interest in physics. I had sort of no interest in my high school physics class or the teacher or, or the subject matter. I found it completely boring. Um, I, I wasn't interested in finding the forces of something rolling down a slope. What I was interested in was reading about theories of how, I guess, the universe expands or, or how you can measure um, starlight. And if I hadn't been exposed to those pretty much online video materials, then I wouldn't have been inspired by my classwork. Thinking about physics is really thinking about the most inherent aspect of the world around us. It's, it's how things work. It's being able to look at something in nature or a system and try to understand the intricate parts that, that go towards um, how that thing happens or why things are the way they are. Uh, having a physics perspective makes me critical about the world around me and also um, I think it allows me to find beauty in the things around me. I've been asked if I thought doing the math major as well as the physics one was worth it. Um, I'd probably say if, if, you're, if you're studying for physics, don't go out of your way to try and, to try and get a math major just for the sake of it. Uh, I did it because the math courses going forward, like in the second and third year of my degree, I just found them really interesting. I wanted to do them. I wanted to be exposed to things like group theory, um, and other sort of more abstract ideas in maths. I wouldn't say you, it, it's definitely not necessary um, to go forward in research or anything else. And in fact, I don't think people care what degree you have. If, if you have an interest in physics, and at least the way that the PhD scheme works in Australia, is that if you've 
demonstrated skill and interest in a particular area and you're keen to go on and, and pursue research, then if you've got some good grades um, and you're passionate, people don't really care what the words are on your degree, on your certificate. Um, they care about who you are and whether they think you'll make a good researcher or a good member of their team. So I, I didn't need the math major for anything. I just have it because I was interested in it. Thanks for everyone who left comments or questions on my last video about the physics degree. If you have any more, please leave them on this video or send me a message. I'd be happy to talk to you um, about my experiences studying physics.